Hi, this is James Parsons Moore, Revit Specialist for Computer Aided Business Systems. And here I'm going to show you a little tip and trick on adding a bull nose to the bottom of some stairs. These stairs have been created in this model using the stair by sketch mode because it was created pre-2013 um, version. However, we can do it to the new version as well. I'm going to show you how to do it both. So in this case, all I'm going to do is select my stairs and go edit sketch. Now, as we know, the stairs are made up of both boundary lines and riser lines. The riser lines being the black lines and the boundary lines being the green lines. All I'm going to do is select my riser line, uh, sorry, my um, boundary line, and drag it backwards to there. Now, this part's important. Make sure when we draw a new line, we make sure we pick the riser line, not a boundary line. If we draw a boundary line, it will have a boundary around there, curving the stringer and handrail. So what we want to do, we want to create it as part of the step just there, so we're going to use the riser line. So I'm going to use riser and use, create it from a start end radius arc. I'm going to go from here to the end of here and just place it out at a tangent like so. Therefore meaning this step will basically curve around here like that. Green tick to finish. And there we go. That's done. It's created the ball nose on here, but because of how the handrail has been created on here, I'm just going to highlight that edit path and just drag the path of my handrail back to there as well, finishing off the sketch for that, meaning my stairs now look correct. We have a ball nose on there. One of the things I like about Revit is once we've done it, we can check it visually straight away. Revit's a very much a uh, visual piece of software, and we just very quickly just add a camera in here, just to see how that looks. There we go. We can just see the ball nose created on the bottom of my stairs just there. So that's how we do it in stair by sketch. Um, for those of you using the new um, way of using stairs, stair by component, and especially those of you that are using Revit LT, you don't get stair by sketch. So how do you do that? Well, this is how. All I'm going to do is go into my floor plan again, and I'm going to draw a little stair. I'm going to base it on the same stair as this. Now, one of the things with Revit is if you do create similar um, with the stairs, even if the stair was drawn stair by sketch, it will actually do it stair by component for the mid style. And all I'm simply going to do is use exactly the same style, but draw a straight run like so. Once I've finished my stair, there we go, my stair, it will look very, very similar to that, but it was created stair by component. Now if I highlight my stair again, and go edit stair this time, there's no way of physically changing the geometry just here. But that's okay, because what we can do, we can actually well, some would say dumb it down, I'd say it actually means you can do quite a bit more of it, but you can convert it back to its sketch form. There's just a little note here saying it can't be reversed doing this. I always, I never tick this just as a reminder because of the training that I do. But you can tick that so it doesn't pop up every time. I'm going to click close. And then once you've done that, with it highlighted, I just go edit sketch. And as you can see, it just takes it straight back to my sketch form. I've got my green lines for my boundaries and my black lines for my rises. So again, all I need to do is either use my grips to drag it back to here or just trim it up. And again, use my arc tool, make sure I do it with a riser on any made a mistake there myself. From here to here, I'll just use that. I did make a mistake. It was a deliberate mistake. Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to take that off. Excuse me. Just delete that line and a riser tangent arc from there to there. And we'll draw it out. There we go. All finished. And the handrail and the stringer is cut back as well. What we can do now, we can go to my 3D view to have a look see what that looks like. Um, oh, slight mistake there as well. This is one of the things with um, stair by component. It actually kind of finishes modeling it before you've actually come out of it. So I'm just going to click the green tick to finish the um, creation of my stairs as well. And go back to my 3D view, and there we go. As you can see, I can't actually see my stair in this view, but I can use my navigation wheel just here. To look around at my stairs using the look tool. Across here, and let's have a look see how that looks. There we go. Beautiful, nice little bull nose on the bottom of my stair. Thank you very much for listening to that tip and trick. Uh, there'll be more coming. Just keep tuning in. Thank you very much. Bye bye.